Hello people of the tube and welcome back to another review. So the new Mortal Kombat movie is shit. If you enjoy the film, okay, me, I fucking hated it. So the opening starts with Scorpion and his family. Sub-Zero kills off his family, kills Scorpion. Scorpion goes to the netherworld. And then we see it, I guess, eons later or whatever. Uh, and the main character, Cole, is training to be an MMA fighter. When Sub-Zero tries to kill him because he has the tattoo to be a fighter in the Mortal Kombat tournament. Sub-Zero ends up ripping off Jack's arms or freezing them off and breaking them. And... Sonya, Jax, Cole, and Kano all go to a secret base area where Kung Lao, Raiden, and Liu Kang train. And that is when they are attacked by Shang Tsung and his villains. So... Okay, man. Uh, fucking Christ. Okay. So, first of all, this film is not based off of the actual tournament. This film is a prequel to the Mortal Kombat tournament. Before the tournament could be fought. Which could have been an interesting idea. But it was done so poorly. Um... Sub-Zero, the actor that played him, I didn't care for him. Uh, he just didn't feel like he fit Sub-Zero. The guy that played Scorpion actually nailed it. If I had to pick my favorite thing about the film, Scorpion was spot-fucking-on. They, they did really good. Cole, such a boring main character. The acting wasn't that great, and Cole as a character is not entertaining. His power is he has fucking MMA wraps on his body. Whoopee. Some some Guyver like shit. Um Sonya Blade, I mean she was okay, I guess. Kano, the dude did a good job with Kano. Problem is there's too much Kano. Uh it was after the first ten minutes I was sick of fucking Kano. Um the dude that played Liu Kang, I don't think it fit very well. The dude that played Kung Lao actually really did. Um, I did enjoy him. I just think that he wasn't in the movie long enough. Honestly, I would have rather seen more scenes with him than someone like fucking Kano, but we didn't get to see that. Um, Jax, the guy that played Jax, I think he did an okay job. Uh, Raiden, I fucking hated the new Raiden. Um, as a character, he was useless. And for acting, I guess it could have been worse. Um... Ah, uh, man. Good parts? Fatalities. They have fatalities. They are bloody. Um, the fights are shit. I'm just going to tell you, the fights kind of suck. But you can tell that they just wanted to get to the fatalities, but they knew they had to put a fight before it. <clears throat> so I feel like all their energy was put into these pretty decent fatalities, especially the Kung Lao one. But the fights are just so meh that they just had to be shoved in. So, I just, man, I don't know. Like, a lot of people enjoy this film. And if I had to recommend a Mortal Kombat film, I would recommend the animated film, uh, Scorpion's Revenge. I think it's called a Retribution or some shit like that. Um, I think it's just a better film. It nails the spirit of Mortal Kombat perfectly. Scorpion, like, intro scene is great. Every scene with Scorpion is fantastic. Um, and they were able to change the lore to where it actually made sense. Um, but as far as in this one, my favorites w was the opening. I think the opening was great. And then I think the ending was cool. Basically from the time... Actually, both both Scorpion. <laughs> there you go. The best the best thing of this movie is fucking Scorpion. They nailed him in the beginning, and then at the end, 
it was really cool when Scorpion did his get over here, which I really do wish Ed Boon would have reprised his role of saying it, but he didn't, so that's unfortunate. But that is the better part, and the Scorpion Sub Zero fight is the better fight of the movie, at least I'd probably say the best. So, if you really wanted to watch this film, I would just say watch the intro clip on YouTube and then like the end on YouTube, because honestly, it feels like you're not really missing anything other than some fatalities. So you might just want to go on YouTube and look at the fatalities. So. But aside from that, I give the movie a 4, and honestly, I think it's a pretty shitty movie. Um, and it's one of the the like worst video game movies. I mean, of course, there are video game movies that are much worse than this. And, you know, I'd rather watch this than, you know, House of the Dead or some shit like that. Or some Uwe Bull movie any day, frankly. But this doesn't it doesn't make this movie any better. So, Mortal Kombat, I didn't care for it. It's like a 5 out of 10. Peace.